Hello, good morning friends, Miss Heather here. All right, before we start off with our story, let's sing our good morning song. Good morning friends, good morning friends, good morning friends, I'm glad you're watching today. All right, do you remember our church words? Okay, if so, do it with me. Here at Unitarian Church, we are people of open minds, loving hearts, and helping hands. Good job! All right, today I have a really cool book called Hogwood Steps Out, a good, good pig story. This book my son actually got checked out from his school, his pre-kindergarten class, and he said we can share it and read it with you guys. Mud. That's what I smell this morning. It's rich and it's inviting. It's like the smell of cake baking in the oven. I have been in my pig pen all winter. Cozy, but boring. I was outside a few times, but my feet get cold in the snow. They turn bright pink. We pigs have sensitive feet. Oh, and he's snuggling next to a cat. But this morning, it's all different. It smells different, and sunlight is spilling in, warming me up. Oh, I can smell. I wonder if spring or summertime is here. Before I really know what I'm doing, I'm letting myself out. I know how to open my gate. Even though my feeders keep adding things to stop me, I watch and learn. Pull that cord and that cord. Rock the gate back and forth, back and forth, and there the gate opens. My cat's. Where to go? Ah, the ground is squishy soft and the breeze brings news. Over that way someone has planted lettuce. Let's go have a taste. Or maybe let's eat it all. Oh, nice garden. All the soil is plowed. I could have done that for them. Now for a snack. Piggy's eyeing all that lettuce in the garden. Who's this? The gardener? It's running towards me, waving his arms, shouting, No need for that. I have big ears. I can hear him. I can also run right over him. But I won't. That gardener probably telling him to get out of his garden. Once I was the runt of the litter. I was very sick and felt bad. My brothers and sisters were twice my size. They thought I wouldn't live. But my feeders took me home and in a shoebox they fed me and I got better. So I don't knock people over. This must be, oh see, there's him. And then his brothers and sisters were bigger so he was the runt, which means he was the smallest pig out of that group. Grunt, grunt, I growl out. That stops him. I run right towards him and he jumps. Then he dives to catch me, but I race away. Christopher Hogwood, he yells. He knows me? We have done this before. What can I say? He grows the sweetest squash. I like to think that he grows them for me. 
Uh-oh, the gardener's down. And there goes the piggy running away. I smell something else on the breeze. Deep, earthy, vintage earth. Rich mud, I follow my nose. On my way, I stop to check out a green lawn. I put my lawn like a carpet. If I want, I tear a huge hole in this green lawn. Stick my snout far in. There's dirt all over my face. It feels good. Try it sometime. He dug a hole and stuck his face right in it. A woman is running toward me. It's her lawn. I guess. I don't think she wants to thank me. The lawn does look a lot better. Much improved. I'd like to roll in that dirt, but I'll move. She's running after him, but look at all the mess he made in her lawn. Uh-oh. But pigs like dirt. A man in blue jeans in blue has joined the chase with the woman and the gardener. His car has a throbbing red light on top. Hogwood, hogwood, they call. And a good day to you, too, I grunt back. I'm far ahead of them. I'm near the deep, deep earth smell. A big yellow thing is digging in deep trench. I'm impressed. I'll go offer my congratulations. Look how fast they're running. They're all running after Hogwood the pig. The man in blue and his lights is a police officer. And look at those. Oh, I see the cat. There's a dog in there. Another dog. All chasing after Hogwood the pig. Good work, good work, I bellow. The man inside is big yellow thing freezes. He stops digging, jumps down, and races away. Some people can't take a compliment. I look down into the trench. You can always learn something new. Pick up some pointers. I'm happy to see this huge hog willow. Oh, what is that? I think that is an excavator. Oh, and there's a the man running away. The man in blue sneaks up on me and drops a rope around me. He starts pulling. I pull back. Grunt, grunt. I could pull him to the moon, but I'm ready to go home. I'd like a nap. After a while, I let him lead me back. Christopher Hogwood, he says, you have to stop rambling around. He too knows my name. He has taken me home many times. I have him well trained. So the police officer got that pig, got Hogwood, but Hogwood thinks that he's going to let him take him back. So he must get out a lot and like to run around town. Walking back to my pen, I recall that the gardener has planted watermelons and that the woman with the lawn has planted pumpkins. The man in blue gives me an apple to urge me along. I eat it and slow down. I'll get a few more apples from him before I'm home and lie down to sleep in my soft bed of wood shavings and cool earth. It's going to be a good summer. Looks like probably going back home to the farm. God bless gardens. Let's see, is he dreaming? Oh, yep, he's dreaming of the pumpkins and the watermelons. And look at all those apples. And oh, he's snuggling with that cat and there's a chicken. I bet the next adventure Hogwood goes on is to go eat some of those, huh? He's a silly pig. The end. Oh, cute picture on the back. That silly Hogwood. 
Well, I can't wait to read another story to you guys next week. I have a great story picked out for fall since that's coming right up. And a fun leaf project for next week. See you guys then. Bye.